we come Walk down the street We get the funniest looks from Everyone we meet Hey, hey, we're the monkeys PJ Lennon A monkey business A tribute to the granddaddy of country rock Michael Nesmith Put anybody down Part 2 Was it all monkey business? Or was it a monkey on his back? And when he left, was it a monkey wrench? Michael Nesmith was at San Antonio College in 1963 and had already played in a few folk bands. Whilst at the college, Michael met John London and the duo won the first College Talents Award, performing a mixture of standard folk songs and a few of Michael's original songs. He formed a group in which his wife-to-be, Phyllis Barber, played, and he released his first recordings on Highness Records, Well, Well and Wandering. He also began writing for other artists, including Denny Esbert and Gold. His first wife, Phyllis, was born into a military family in Manhattan in 1946. She and her two younger brothers and a younger sister moved around a lot as children, living in Los Angeles, Germany, and eventually settling in Texas. In college in San Antonio, she studied journalism and English. Michael later claimed love at first sight, saying, When I met Phyllis, I had a feeling that I had never experienced before. I was so sure she was the girl for me that I asked her to marry me before I ever asked her for a date. Unfortunately for Michael, Phyllis was already seeing Mark weekly. They later crossed paths again and began seeing each other on the quiet. When she was 16 and Michael was 20, she discovered that she was pregnant with his child and she and Michael were married in March 1963. They had a son Christian that next January. Of married life, Michael said in 1968, Since I've been married, I've been a complete person. Before I think I was a half person. Phyllis now makes up my other half and makes me whole. Later in 64, Michael and Phyllis moved to Los Angeles and Michael released the single How Can You Kiss Me with the B-side Just A Little Love with John London as Mike and John on Omnibus Records.
November 65 under the name Michael Blessing, he recorded two singles, the A-side, The New Recruit, with the B-side, A Journey with Michael Blessing, and the A-side, Until It's Time For You To Go, and the B-side, What Seems To Be The Trouble Officer, and released them on Colpix Records, coincidentally David Jones' label. Sergeant, I'm a drafty and I just arrived in camp. I've come to wear the uniform and join the martial tramp. And I want to do my duty, but one thing I do implore. You must give me lessons, Sergeant, for I've never killed before. To do my job obediently is my only desire. To learn my weapon thoroughly and how to aim and fire. To learn to kill the enemy and then find out what for. Oh, I'll need instruction, Sergeant, for I've never killed before. We played in love as a part as in a game. You could have stayed outside my heart. Michael was a member of the Monkeys. He was the only monkey to learn of the audition from the famous press ad in Variety, asking for four insane boys, and Michael got his role largely by appearing blasé during the audition. Shut the door, will you? Good evening, Ed. <laughs> Shut the door, Mike. Sit down somewhere. I want to ask you a lot of questions about yourself. Tell us what your name is. My name is Michael Blessing. <clears throat> no, I want to hear the truth. No, that's it. I'm telling you, it's a pseudo name. How did you get to Nesmith? Well, uh, Nesmith is my real name. Well, how did you get to Blessing? It's a pseudo name. How did you have to pick Blessing? Well, uh, why are you asking me that? It's <laughs> weird. Get on something else. <laughs> <laughs> get on something else by yourself. Okay. Um, tell me the Colonel Madden story. No, uh, <laughs> because that's a very dumb story. However, I will tell you about the time that I was in the Air Force and I jumped over a general's airplane. One time, I was in the Air Force. I don't believe that. And no, I turned over the general's airplane. That's about the time over. Yeah, that's about the time I was in the general's airplane. <laughs> that's it, man. That's all the story. Mike, let me ask you something, seriously. Why do you do this kind of business? What's that? Playing the music. Well, I mean, how'd you get why do they call that a light? I don't know, that's just where it's at. Well, how'd you get to it? How long ago? About two years. You just came to it two years ago? Mm -hmm. What what before then? I was a failure. Yeah, but did you work at that? Yeah. How I mean, you know, I just didn't do anything. I was a failure. Um, do you think you're a goof? Do you? No. Well, see, it depends on what do you think. Do I think you're a goof? Yeah. No. Well, okay, see, then that's where it's at. If you think I'm a goof, man, I'm a goof. You know, what I think is what I am, right? So I don't think I'm a goof. I don't think you're a goof. Right. Okay. I think I'm out of work. <laughs> I hope I get this serious. <laughs> but uh, goof? No, I'm not. Let me ask you this. Do you have any ego hang-ups? Yeah. A lot of ego hang-ups. I've got a few ego hangers. And you got ego hang-ups with me right now? Yeah, listen, wait a minute. I mean, really, if you're really tight about me sitting in the chair, they don't start. I really want to see what's in there. Because when I go home, I'm going to say, hey, on the farmer's dog, you know what's in that drawer? <laughs> That's going to be a guess. You may be the only one who's ever been in that drawer, right? I know, because there's stuff in it. Mike, come back here, will you? No. Wait a minute. Oh, wow! Are you ready for this? Okay, go ahead. Do the butler bit. No, I was going to uh, do it. I'm lost. I'm telling you. Mike, let me ask you something. Do you think you can play another part? A part of another guy? What is that? What do you want me to be? Strong and silent? Yeah, be strong and silent. Hey, well, go ahead. I'll be a girl. 
Mike did the same thing. Well, I mean, that's your hang up, man. <laughs> not mine. I mean, I know where it's at. Were you ever a strong and silent girl before? <laughs> I mean, have you ever asked? After moving to LA for about a year, the family lived with hardly any money to spare until Mike was cast in The Monkeys in early 1966. Of her husband's newfound fame, Phyllis said, I was along for the ride. I happened to be married to someone who was in that position. I think it was very tough. I think it was hard to have a normal life and maintain some stable values. You have a loss of privacy and a distortion of personal identity. In 1966, he released Just the Little Lovers and A-Side with Eva Records. He was a prolific songwriter, and Mary Mary was recorded by the Paul Butterfield Blues Band while Different Drum was recorded by Linda Ronsad and the Stone Brothers. Pretty Little Princess, written in 1965, was recorded by Frankie Lane and released as a single in 1968 on ABC Records. Later, some of Shelley's blues and Propinquity, I've Just Begun to Care, were made popular by the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band on their 1970 album, Uncle Charlie and His Dog Teddy. And all you get is pain when I needed sunshine, I got rain oh, Then I saw her face Now I'm a believer Not a trace A doubt in my mind I'm in love I'm a believer I couldn't leave her if I tried We come walking down the street. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys, and people say we monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. 